Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Johari window and I'll make sure to include something right here where you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But I want to be I'm going to be talking about the Johari window and your identity. Before we get started, make sure to go to my description below, take a look at some of the links I have in there. One of them, if you click it, you will automatically subscribe to my channel, which would be amazing. The other link will lead you to a Calendly um, account where you can hop on a call with me, schedule it, so we can talk more about this and any other topics that you've listened to me talk about and find ways where I can help you implement them in your life. So. Let's get started. Just a basic explanation of what the Johari window is. Um, like I said, I'll put it right here, but it basically explains the aspects of your life that you know, others know, and maybe some aspects that you don't know. So how you can see here, the top corner are the things that you know and that everyone else knows. The other corner, it's the things that you don't know, but other people know. Down here, you're gonna have the things that other people don't know, but that you do know. And then down here are the things that you don't know and no one else knows about you. I want to focus on these last two, the blind self and the un unknown self. So the other two are just basic. They're things that you know about yourself and you either keep private or you share with the world. The other two are very interesting. So the blind self basically means that these are things that you don't know about yourself, but other people might have noticed. So let's say that you tend to feel more like an introvert, but lately you're in a new season of life and you are exposing yourself more to other communities and talking to other people. And someone you meet in the community really notices how extroverted you are, how you're talking to everyone, making friends with everyone, and everyone likes you and stuff like that. So that's something that might be a blind self because someone else knows that about you and you necessarily don't know that about yourself. Oftentimes when people tell you about these things, that immediately clicks in your brain and you realize, yes, this is true. Sometimes though, people who have maybe a negative vibe, let's say, or um, they wanna do you harm, they'll say things to make you believe you're something else. Those we gotta watch out for, but I wanna talk today about the things that we don't know that are good that we get that click, that we find someone that helps us realize those things, and sometimes even that person can be God. The one at the bottom, which is the unknown self. No one knows these about you and you don't know this about you. These are the things that can be found through meditation and prayer. Um, in a video coming out pretty soon, I'll be talking about the importance of silence and being still. Um, these are things that a lot of people in our generation are not very good at. We oftentimes like to feel busy. I did post a, um, a video all about being productive and being busy, how they don't really correlate. You can go watch that. I'll leave it somewhere up here. But basically, the unknown self can be come to light to yourself by meditating, being still, being present, listening to those signals, the, the voice of God that's telling you, um, exactly what you need to know. He has a lot to offer you. He wants to give you all these tools that you need, but you have to listen and you have to be still and you have to slow down in order to keep going. So these are the two really important ones. Um, oftentimes it's weird to think that you might not know something about yourself, but it often happens if we are just going at full speed, not looking to our sides, not looking to our neighbors for help, not looking to God for help. Um, and I say God because that's what I believe in. If you believe in the universe, if you believe in the stars, if you believe in whatever it is you believe in, just you can switch the word and use it in that context. But all I'm saying is that a lot of the times we might not know something about ourselves, but God has the answer. And sometimes our friends have the answer. We just need to slow down take a step back and listen. Listen to the people, but also listen to those signals that God 
is giving you. So this was a quick video, just me ranting for a little bit, going pretty fast, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just very excited to be recording again. Um, I just got back from Puerto Rico from vacation, so I'm finally sitting down and doing some videos. But if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with someone that you think it might help. Um, share it on your Instagram, your page, whatever it is you use. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.